today it's Monday we're back on the John Deere today we're going to try to get it running for a little longer than a few seconds we're going to do it with this so let's go ahead and throw this on real quick uh, I don't have the tank the tank is not clean yet so we'll figure out a, some way to put fuel in here probably just squirt some in fill the bowl up and then uh, we'll let it run for a couple minutes to see how it sounds then. So stick around, should be pretty fun. Alright, I hope you guys can see alright. I'm going to start by taking these three screws out here. Get this base plate for the air cleaner off. These carburetors are real simple. Nothing in the way. All right. Now. All right, let's pop this off. This is the throttle from the governor. This is the governor arm here. So. Now, we're gonna take these bolts out here. Ugh. And the problem with these, you can only go out so far. Then you gotta pull the carburetor back a little bit take them out a little bit more because you can't get you can't get a, a socket on it or a ratchet wrench but you might be able to get a small screwdriver it'll help speed things up a little bit so I'm going to go ahead Try to get these off of here. This carburetor was like 23 bucks. Comes with two fuel lines, a bunch of clamps, uh, three or four little brushes to clean things with, and a filter and a shutoff valve. But we're going to try to get, and it also comes with a gasket. But we're going to try to get this to where we can make it run a little bit longer than just firing up and shutting off. I don't think I have an extra gas tank that I can just put on here. Now I should just be able to slide this off here. There it is. That's the old one. Still got black paint on it. From when the engine was painted, I'm, I'm assuming. Right down here is the fuel pump. I don't know how well you guys can see because, again, you know the lighting. Right there is the fuel pump. Looks nasty in there. But I think I may have one out back that'll work. I know it's a good one. I just don't know if I can make it work on here or not. Yeah, that gasket's pretty well shot. So I'm going to have to scrape this gasket off so we can use the new one. Let me get this scraped off. Then we'll stick the new one on. We'll put some gas in it. Okay, guys. So I had to make a gasket because the new gasket the joys of buying aftermarket is too small so I just made one out of a coca-cola box and something else this I'm gonna have to do something about the choke because the choke arm is different I'm probably gonna have to pull the uh, choke arm off there we 
go. Pull this choke arm off and flip it over. Whatever I got to do, it's it's not a big deal. Uh, like I said, aftermarket, the pictures showed it the right way, but, you know. Let me grab my screwdriver. We'll get those started in there. Yeah, choke's not a big deal right now. I can live with that. I can find the original carburetor, but it's like a hundred bucks used. But I think I know where I can get the carburetor that would go on here. That place where we went the other day to go look for tires. They got engines and pretty much everything laying around there. I'm sure I can find one there that's probably in better shape than the one we got. So... Alright, let me get these tightened up and then we'll find a way to put some fuel in here. Okay guys, this is what we're going to do. We're going to take this and we're going to fill it up. This is one of the new lines because I don't want to get any dirt or anything in this new carburetor. Okay, so it should be full. I think it don't hold a lot. All right, let's um, yeah, let's fire this up. Let's see if we can come up with a fuel tank. All right, so what I decided to do is I'm just going to stick this down in here while it's running. And we'll let it run for a few minutes. And see how it runs.
I keep running out of fuel because I'm forgetting to squeeze the bottle. That's exactly what it's doing. issue with my switch too but uh, a little bit of this and that so we know it's a good running tractor that engine runs real good and what little bit of smoke you do see I am using that uh, 50 to 1 mix so yeah I mean it's there it seems like it's running a little warm I seen some stuff blow up over the top here well I guess it's not that hot no, it's probably just old stuff burning out. Yeah, it's not hot at all. Okay, guys. I'll be back with you in a second. Okay, so... When nut runs, there's no knocks. It runs pretty good. So as soon as I can get a tank on it, <coughs> I'm pretty confident I can get the other one cleaned out because out the pitcock it started dripping. So it's doing some cleaning. I think I can get it cleaned out. We'll just have to see. If it's not rusty in there, it'll be all right. But if there's a little bit of rust, I'll clean out what I can. Then I'll probably just coat it. Just pour that stuff in there and move it around. You let it set. Um, so once I get a get a tank on it, I can get that carburetor adjusted. The choke is no big deal. I was looking at it there. I can reroute that choke cable. That's not an issue. Um, I never did adjust the points, I just cleaned them, so, you know, maybe a new set of points. I don't know, we'll see. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, we got to hear it run a little longer, and uh, I seen some stuff blowing up in toward the head, so I'm going to have to blow that out with air. And I seen a little bit of smoke, but I think that was just, a, just some residual dust and dirt and stuff like that. I'm still going to have to blow it out real good. Um, 
I just started it up again, let it run a little bit longer, and it quit smoking. So whatever was in there, you know, must have burned itself out. So, but I can't ride it until I get tires. Those tires are shot. I think I mentioned that. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. So, uh, you know, it is what it is, guys. So anyway, Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye, guys, and take care.